Hi. Yeah, have a seat. I'm your life coach today. My name is Tony. I'm glad to meet you. How are you doing? Awesome, awesome. Uh -huh. I see. Mm. Mm, not so awesome. All right, well, I, before you begin, I just want to let you know, uh, I'm not a therapist. Um, I can only encourage and motivate someone. That's my job as a life coach. So I'm not going to sit here and uh, tell you how to live your life or try to give you advice, really. I'm kind of just here to promote wellness and a better lifestyle. I can only be here to encourage you, to encourage, let's say if you want to be more active in an active lifestyle, if you want to find peace within, encourage a more relaxed lifestyle. Um, but I will never sit here on our counseling sessions if you choose to um, have more with me. I will never sit here and tell you what you should and shouldn't do. It's more of a sort of motivational, promotional uh, health and well-being type of uh, counseling session. I take it very lightly because we still have to consider ourselves counseling. But um, basically coaching, you'd imagine, like a baseball or basketball coach, someone with the whistle, someone that will just cheer you on, sort of like a cheerleader, just someone that promotes a wellness lifestyle or a better lifestyle for ultimate peace, happiness, and content feelings, okay? So that's what I'm about here. I'm here to talk to, to cheer you on, to encourage you in that. To tell you basically that you're doing a great job, so I will never judge you. Anything you tell me is confidential, and it is, quite honestly, none of my business if it's too private, right? Uh, we just want to kind of get the message out there that it's okay go through what you're going through. We all struggle sometimes. I'm just here to keep you going and push you on to getting after your dreams and achieving what you desire, right? <laughs> That's kind of the point here, yeah. So, tell me a bit about yourself. Your <laughs> name, age, where you live, nothing too personal, perhaps, unless you would like to. I'm just here to get Get the basics of yourself. And just be a listening ear. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. Mm. So what is it that brought you here today, I'd say, what is it that seems to um, perhaps bother you about what you may be going through, what you may be experiencing right now, that's making you feel a little, mm hmm mm. Okay, that's very common, actually, that's the biggest, that's a relief, because that's the biggest reason people come in here, and it's, um, it's, for me, it's pretty straightforward because I've been doing this for a while, um, but because it's also because it's a common concern, I know exactly what to say. However, it's different for every specific person. The majority of people do feel like they have no purpose in life, they have no meaning, especially now with what world we're in. Everything feels so, well, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Yeah, you took the word right out of my mouth. That's exactly how it feels like, and I definitely share that concern with you. Um, yes. Absolutely. So the question is, how do we take ourselves out of this feeling? How do we manage to look at the world in a different light? How is it that we manage to perceive our reality in another way? And that is the ultimate question. And I think sometimes you need to just Take a step back and realize 
there's no reason to question everything. There's no need. It's not necessary. You sometimes just have to exist and sit in this moment. Okay? I've spoken to many yoga practitioners and they all say the same thing. To be just within, to sit within. And how do you sit within? Well, you may ask. It's the same as if you ask yourself, why am I here? Right? There's no straightforward answer. But I think when you come to a reality that you can just exist in this moment and realize there is no control over anything occurring in your life today, is there? Exactly, you could go to the grocery aisle and the store clerk could say, sorry, we're closed at any second. And you'll have no choice but to leave. So sometimes to face the reality that we sometimes will not be given the freedom or the option to choose. And so that may make us personally feel like we have no point of being here. What's the point if I can't live the life that I once did, or I'm restricted in my ways. Mm -hmm. So, no one restricted you from going within though, right? Seeking answers within yourself. Why is it that we always need to seek outwards for solutions to our problems? Did, may I just ask you, did that ever once solve your problem? Well, let's say you're going through a breakup and you decide to go out to a nightclub and meet people to get over it. Did that ever? Exactly. That never solved anyone's problem. In fact, it only made it worse because they go through more heartbreak because now they're projecting their pains onto others and they're getting it back reflected at them. So when you look within and realize that you just need to look within, then there's your answer, and nothing else will disturb you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hope it makes sense, because sometimes we need just that uh, quick reality check, like, you know, it's all here. No one can take the freedom of you away. Make sense? So, I hope this helps in some way. It's just a quick, short session. I don't do um, sessions that long. I'm just kind of like that pep talk kind of person that will just cheer you on real quick and uh, if you have a repeating pattern or behavior and I'm noticing that, then to quickly, I don't want to say correct it, but adjust the lens of how you see things in this world and perhaps through this coaching you can sort of look on the brighter side of things and realize what you truly do have is inside of you and it's valuable and precious, and no one can take that away from you. Mm -hmm. Now, if you could just take a moment and take a deep breath with me. And hold it. You can close your eyes and exhale. And how do you feel in this moment now? Mm -hmm. That's very typical. So you can sit in that feeling, no matter how uncomfortable it may feel, to you. Now I ask you, when you're ready to take a deep breath with me again, hold it again the same way, in the same length of time. And exhale when you're ready with me. Now how do you feel? same way. Sit in that. Don't need to process it, just don't even question it, just sit in it. Breathe in again. Hold it. And exhale. Now how do you feel? Mm -hmm. Notice the change, right? All of a sudden, why we felt that way was almost irrelevant, right? And again... Right, 
I'm noticing you crack open a smile now. <laughs> and it's beginning to get funny because we even forget now why we even felt that way, right? So when you do that exercise, it promotes a sense of, okay, it's just something that comes through that I'm feeling now in this moment in time that will pass quickly. It's not going to last forever. It's a fading thing. What lasts forever is my knowledge of being able to understand that I am here and I exist and I'm just observing everything around me and there's no need to fight anything there's no need to argue I'm just here we don't know why we don't have to know but I am just here and when you focus on that there's almost like a sense of not even feeling, right? Hmm. And then you sit in that not even feeling. And then you realize in that nothingness, you can make something out of that nothingness. You can choose to make your happiness. You can choose to be sad that you don't know anything all along. You can choose to be angry. How are you going to choose? to switch the lens of your viewpoint, right? So let's now change this shift into realizing that you have the loved resources to be able to shift your perspective anytime. And that you as the powerful creator can choose to do what it takes to change how you look at the a new pair of eyes and to realize the power you hold within to do this you are the master or the creator of your own universe and anything you can do anything you can accomplish is very possible you've perhaps done it before somewhere along the way you just forgot this information maybe you forgot to believe in yourself to have more faith or bravery and strength, well, I'm here to promote and encourage you to bring that back, to bring life back into those dreams, to enable you to go after what you desire. Wonderful. Now, what do you do on a daily basis to go after what you really want? Is there something you're really seeking for in this life? Or are you just enjoying the moment now and just living day by day? I understand. Yes. Mm hmm. Exactly. So now, with this new sort of mindset, you're beginning to even see your past self a few minutes ago differently, right? And you can see the direction you can channel things to. And when you're feeling this way, to just take that moment and breathe and observe. Don't get caught up in the waves. Just witness it. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. There's things in the physical we can utilize to our advantage. Like um, reading a good book or getting some healthy fitness outside. Eating great meals that leave us feeling great overall. Yeah, if there's a favorite activity or sport you like to do or play, maybe with someone you enjoy, like a friend or good company. A lot of times just being surrounded with those things in our world can enable us to be around energy. And when we're alone, around people, people provide energy. It's so important for humanity to be around others and to experience each other's energy. It leaves you feeling better. Don't you remember the good old days hanging out with a group of friends and you come home and you feel energized and you feel human, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. So you can always have that feeling within and then when you're ready you can provide that same feeling to others in due time, that connection. But that connection with yourself is so much more important now. And taking the time to 
be easy and kind on yourself as well. You're doing great. You just coming here are doing the work. So I applaud you. I'm here to cheer you on and encourage you to keep going no matter what and practice this. And when you come back to me next time, we'll check in and do this exercise again and see the change and the difference in you. And I'm hoping that I can see you again so we can work on further things in advance. I'm just starting off easy today since our first time meeting together. But I can already tell the incredible difference it's done on you. Right. I'm glad you enjoy, okay? I'll see you again next time.